Well, I have three pounds of rigatoni boiling away. I like rigatoni for this because it just seems to hold up with all the cheese and the baking that you have to do with it. So it's gonna feed a big crowd. For the cheese part, I have some butter, mozzarella shredded, and ricotta cheese, and parsley. I don't add an egg to this because I don't want it too binding. I like a looser, creamier cheese. Put some butter into the pot. It's all drained. I don't know how much butter I put in. I, I don't put a whole lot. The size of the ricotta that I'm using is 15 ounces. I bought what I usually get. I didn't know like who was gonna be coming to dinner so I have three pounds but looking at it I don't think it'll be enough so I'm gonna end up cooking the fourth box I'm not sure how much of this cheese I'm using so if there's four cups in this bag yeah I'll probably use all of it parsley and the heat from the pasta is going to help incorporate all this cheese and melt it down for the sauce I just have two pounds of the just traditional sauce you could use any sauce you want. I'm just doing traditional. And then I'm gonna probably add half of this one and then just hold off. Gentle as I go. If it breaks up, it's not a big deal. I mean, once it cooks in the, you put it in a casserole dish and bake it in the oven, it's all fine. This is a hit with family. It's a hit with the kids. Um, I like making this meal up for freezer meals for freezer group. This is a, a meal that I try to have all the ingredients on hand because when we're like, oh crap, what do you want for dinner? And with this, you could do so much to it, guys. You could add ground hamburger in here, hamburger. You can add ground sausage. Um, you can add more veggies to it. Let's take a little bit of the sauce and put it on top. Take some more shredded mozzarella and put that on top. Now you're gonna bake this in the 350 oven for up to 30 minutes. You wanna get it all melted and heated through. So for about 25 minutes, I'll bake it with the cover on, and then the last five minutes, I'll take the cover off, uncovered for the last five minutes. And then I come in with some parsley, and this is ready to go. All I have to do is put aluminum foil on it and stick it in the oven. Hope. You try it and let me know what you think and let me know what you add to it. I love, love different takes on it. So give this a shot.